and I'd heard that it, the, one of the reasons he was voted out was because he had um, approached the Rainbow House next door to where the chapel is and said, you're good people. And this was viewed as in contradiction to everything he'd ever preached. He did not mean in any of his words to say that it is okay to flagrantly violate the commandments of God. Evidently, whatever your father said um, was part of a case that was made against him that led to him being voted out of the church. We don't have the full facts about from the day that you're speaking of mm -hmm. to the day that he died. You don't have the full facts. Well, would you care to enlighten me? No. I mean, I'm sure it's been immensely painful to you to have two of your daughters leave at the same time. And then not that long after that, your son, Zach, would you like to give me a sense of how that felt? Well, I know you have a child. Three. It didn't start the day they left. I told you when you were here last that I see things in the children that cause me to wonder. But I also told you that if all of them leave, sorry, just give me a second, <laughs> that it does not change anything. It certainly doesn't change God. It doesn't change what I'm going to do. And don't ask me questions like that. It's, it's they're my, they were, they were my children. Everything that I had was theirs. Everything that I know was theirs. We treated them well. But we don't control the heart. We don't own salvation. We can't do anything about that. So we go with the wisdom of God on all these matters. It doesn't change the fact that it's sad and painful. It was strange to see a woman so...